Donations for Christ Church on the most popular social media platforms. You can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. Our handle across all social media platforms is ANFC Derby, which makes it easy for you to find us. So go ahead and connect with ANFC today. NFC Church have a brand new mobile app. We'll send you church news and updates via push notifications. You can access videos, blogs and uploaded sermons on the app. You can also securely give donations to the ministry on the app. Got a prayer request? Why not submit it on the app? With so many features to explore, search ANFC Church on iTunes or Google Play today. Lately, it seems that we are getting more and more confused about what a church actually is. So let's take some time to set the record straight. Church is not a building, though a building can be used by a church. Church is not a denomination, though a set of beliefs should be important to a church. Church is not about Sunday, though a church should not forsake meeting together. Church is not about one person or personality, though every church should be pastored. And church is not about size or growth, though every church is called to make disciples. So don't think of church as an address or a location, but rather think of church as mobile and on the move. Don't think of church as something built or planted, but rather think of church as something deployed. Don't think of church as where you are for an hour each week, but rather what you are every day of the week, because the church is the hands and feet of Jesus Christ. Feet shouldn't sit still. Hands shouldn't be idle. Feet go hands do. This is the church. Church isn't what you're sitting through right now, because you are the church. Now go and be the church.
you can stay connected with us here at NFC Derby. If you're currently watching us on our Facebook page, if you haven't already, you can scroll up and click on the like button. If you are over on our YouTube channel, you can scroll down and click on the subscribe button. And to be notified of when we post, you can click on the little red bell. You can also visit our website at www.anfc.org.uk. If you'd like to send us an email, you can do so at admin at anfc.org.uk. If you'd like to send us a prayer request, you can email that to I need prayer at nfc.org.uk. Hello and good morning. Greetings once again from All Nations for Christ in Derby. Amen. We're so glad that you're able to join us again from the nations, wherever you're viewing from, whether it's morning, afternoon or evening. We're so glad you're able to connect with us today. You're going to be blessed. Amen. We're going to start by reading our opening scripture for today, which is taken from Joshua uh, chapters 1 and verse 6 to 9. So, Get your Bibles out and let's read the word of God together. Amen. I'm going to be reading from the King James Bible and here it reads. And from verse six, it says, be strong and of good courage. For unto this people shalt thou divide an inheritance, the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Amen. We're just going to pray that scripture in as we hear the word of God spoken. We pray and we're going to speak that word over our lives as we are connected here this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you for your word that encourages us, Lord, as Joshua was encouraged to be strong and be very courageous. Father, I thank you this morning that, Lord, you are bringing your people through, uh, Lord, a dark period. And Father, I thank you, Lord, that your word is commanding us today to be strong and to be courageous. 
because God, you are with us, Lord God. For God, Lord, your words, if you are with us, who can be against us? Father, we thank you, Lord God, that Lord, your law, your word shall not depart out of our mouths. Lord, that we will keep them in the midst of our heart. Lord, that we will not go to the right or to the left, Father, but that, Lord, we will keep you firmly in our focus, that we will keep you firmly in front of our eyes, that we will not be led astray in this season. Father, we thank you that you are causing your people to become prosperous in your glorious presence. Lord, as we gaze into your loveliness and your awesomeness, Father, we thank you, Lord, that you are a good father. And Lord, we thank you right now that the presence of your Holy Spirit, Father, Lord God, will minister to the hearers, will minister to those that are connected with us here today. Father, that they hear, Lord God, what your spirit has to say this morning. Father, we give you praise and we give you honor and we give you glory in the most holy and precious name of of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Isn't God good? He's such a great God. He's just such a loving Father. Right now, we're just going to praise him with our voices. We're going to praise him with our instruments, with our voice, our hands. We're going to lift them up in his presence and give him the praise and the honor that is due unto him. So I just want to encourage you, if you get your family together, your children, get them all together and let us just begin to praise God together as we listen and be led by the ministry of the praise and worship team this morning. Following on from that, we're going to hear a message from the word of the Lord. Lord. Amen. to me 
to leave me
good morning. I just want to greet ANFC family in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior. I'm so glad that you can be with us this morning just to worship, just to give God all the praise and all the glory. You know, before I go into the word this morning, I want me and you just to begin just to give God thanks for his goodness, his mercy that endures to the end. We serve a God who is an all-knowing God. Amen. And he's for us. Amen. Amen. And he delights, like I always say, in the prosperity. Amen. Of his people. Hallelujah. Let us just give God some thanks. Hallelujah. We've come into a new year so we can give God praise and we can give God glory. So we thank you. We honor. We praise you. Hallelujah. We just want to bless you, Lord, because we know that you are worthy of all the worship and all the glory. Hallelujah. Well, you know, this morning, hallelujah, you know, we are now faced with another lockdown in the UK. And when hearing that news, I know it was devastating news to a lot of people. Another lockdown and we are you know we are challenged you know on this side and we're saying to ourselves what is actually happening in the world you know we are confused a lot of confusion is going around but one of the things that I understand in a season like this hallelujah you've got to know how to keep your faith hallelujah because the bible says that it's impossible to please god without faith hallelujah we know that the enemy comes to kill to steal and to destroy so sometimes when you hear a devastating news like this it causes you to begin to ask questions where is god and then also this also is an opportunity where the enemy then begins to speak words of confusion and tries to bring you to the place where he wants to weaken your faith but you know through the month of january amen i'm going to be talking about faith you know talking Amen. And encouraging you how to keep your faith, amen, during a time where it seems difficult. Because we've got to understand that the enemy actually, he desires to save you and me. He wants us to be weakened in our faith. And the Bible also encourages to fight the good fight of faith. Now, one of the things that we've got to understand that the enemy will always bring what we call false news, false teachers that will come and try to weaken mine and your faith. So we've got to be on God. So this morning, I want to take the opportunity to read the word of the Lord. And what I would like you to take your Bibles out. We're going to go to the book of Colossians chapter 2, reading from verse 4. Four onwards, and this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. For though I be absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in the spirit, joying and beholding your order and steadfastness of your faith in Christ. As ye therefore receive Christ. Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in faith, as ye been taught, abounding therein and with thanksgiving. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, and after traditions of men, after the rudiments of the worlds, and not after Christ. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and ye are complete in him, which is the head of principalities and powers. Hallelujah. We have been encouraged here with the word of the Lord. You know, Paul was encouraging the Colossians, you know, to to keep the faith. Hallelujah. To, To remain, amen, steadfast. Watch this. In Christ to be on God, you know, because there were false teachers. This was a young church, uh, um, and but there were false teachers that would come along and they were kind of um, um, teaching a doctrine or teaching false teaching uh, um, that would lead uh, 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 the, the Colossian church into 
deception. And you say, you've got to understand that that's the plan of the enemy, that he wants to lead me and you into deception. You know, and so, so we've got to be on what we call on God. So we've got to take instructions. Amen. And we've got to watch out. So Paul is turning around and saying to the church of Colossians, watch out. He's saying that, and don't let anybody comes along and pursue persuade you with uh, 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 um, um, persuasive words and persuasive doctrine. So Paul was really concerned about uh, um, the Colossian church, amen, and he was saying to them, you know, don't allow the smooth talker to talk you out, amen, of the things that you've already been established in. And, and, and if we look at that today, that is still applicable today. Because what Paul was really trying, saying to the church of Colossians, look, that you're already complete in Christ. And, and if anybody comes and add anything thereof to that, know that it is false because you know something that we are complete. Watch this in Christ you know so even nowadays we we realize that there is so much deception and even in a time like this and I want you to be very careful amen and be very mindful of the things that you read on media I want you to be mindful amen of certain things and certain teachings that come along that tries to persuade you and make you think like you haven't got enough in Christ uh, um, uh, um, th this is a deception that is, is is taking place even right now in the body of Christ. You know, we're kind of looking for the eternal outwards things to satisfy us. But Paul is saying that we are complete. Watch this. In Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. We have completeness in Christ. So Paul was encouraging, like I said, he was encouraging uh, um, the church of Colossians, you know, to stay uh, um, steadfast, you know, don't be moved by what you hear or don't be moved by what you see. Hallelujah. So we can see that, amen, that um, God was so protective of his people because he understands, you see, this is what the Bible turns around and says, you see, the enemy, he goes around seeking who he may devour and he wants to devour your faith so what he will do he'll come and weaken your faith and usually bring watch this usually bring things that you begin to question uh, um the god of your salvation question amen the the the, the perfecting of god's word hallelujah so you know something so we have to be what i call we have to watch out amen amen and not be led astray hallelujah so Paul like I said he's telling them amen to um, um be on God be on God because in fact Paul was telling them guess what in fact he said that Christ uh, uh, in Christ uh, is hidden all treasures and wisdom and knowledge I'm going to say it in fact again in Christ all treasures uh, watch this of wisdom amen and knowledge is hidden in Christ so everything that we need watch this is in Christ so we don't have to go to an outside source I'm going to say it again we don't have to go to an outside source and and if you look at it even today watch this and um, we have people now coming up with what we call fresh revelation from God and and if you kind of examine it amen based upon the word of the Lord you will realize that it does not synchronize amen with the word of God usually amen those false deceptive um what we call these people that say they have this special revelation from God usually is bringing glory or bringing honor to them self but here and I'll keep on saying that this morning it is Paul saying that everything that you need is in Christ hallelujah it's not in a man it's not in a man's ministry it's in Christ Jesus hallelujah amen I just love what Paul 
turns around and says, you know, in the word of the Lord, you know, that I might know him in the power of his resurrection, talking about Jesus. So we have to make up our mind. Watch this. Watch this. If we're going to keep the faith, watch this. We've got to be singularly minded. Amen. Amen. And looking to the author and the finisher. Watch this. Of our faith, which is Christ uh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, even though uh, um, the Colossian church were not led astray yet, you know, but Paul was reminded, not like the church of the Galatians, you know, as soon as they earned uh, a new uh, uh, um, 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 doctrine, they were turned away instantly. You see, so God's saying to me and you that he wants me and you to be rooted, hallelujah, in, amen, hallelujah, in him hallelujah and we can turn around and see that you know that Paul was warning him and in verse 5 of Colossians chapter 2 he said for though I be absent in the flesh I am with you in spirit rejoicing to see your good order and steadfastness of your faith you know Paul said even though I'm not there basically you know he said you know I've heard he's, he says you know and he, and, and, and he rejoices uh, amen that you are in good order and steadfastness of your faith watch this in Christ Jesus amen so he was he was applauding the Colossian church also because of their steadfastness in Christ Jesus but at the same time he was warning them not to be watch this not to amen follow the deceptive uh, philosophies of men hallelujah these false teachers that will come to try to weaken amen your faith faith and if we look at that you know that that to maintain that good order of steadfastness the word order is a and steadfastness is a military term order is to regulate the word order is to regulate and to conduct and to keep rank in an orderliness manner i'm going to say that so so to order means to to keep rank watch this to keep rank amen in a orderly uh, um, manner amen and also it, the, it's reminding us that that the church watch this amen is a army watch this a army that moves according watch this to a order we are submitted wonder amen under the the leadership of jesus christ amen he is the commander amen i'm going to strongly emphasize this that he is the captain of the ship he is the captain of of the army so as the body of christ watch this we've got to sit under the order amen under the headship of jesus christ because he is all knowing hallelujah i just love the word of the lord can we just go back to uh, amen Amen. Um, 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 Second Colossians um, chapter two uh, and verse and um, verse nine, and it goes for in Him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead. And verse ten goes, and we are complete in Him, which is the head of all principalities and powers. Amen. We are complete in Him, so we don't have to look outside of the box. We can stay inside Christ. Jesus hallelujah amen so and also that that word amen you know like I said you know order it means to to regulate conduct to keep in rank amen so as the body of Christ watch this amen we've got to stay in our position amen and that word steadfast means to present a solid front we as believers watch this we have to present what we call a solid front as a believer we have to be Dis, uh, discipline and obedience watch this we have to be people of uh, uh, that are discipline and obedience you know when jesus turns around and he says you know go um into all the world and, and 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 preach the gospel make disciples out of men a disciple is somebody that is is willing to learn a disciple is a person that takes on the form of of our life of a disciplined life a military life in the kingdom of god what am i trying to go say this morning i'm trying to encourage me and you watch this that we have to 
key, watch this, the faith, and we cannot be moved, watch this, amen, by false teaching, by what is happening in the world, watch this, but we've got to keep, amen, our faith, our confidence in Christ Jesus, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, amen. So we can see that the Colossian church, right, they, they, they were doing the right thing. They were keeping rank. They were keeping steadfastness. They were uh, obedience. They were, you know, they were disciplined. They were a disciplined uh, uh, um, church. And that's one of the problems that sometimes we uh, we face with inside the, 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 the church world. There, there, there seems like sometimes that where we have... Um, um, people that are in the body of Christ but don't submit on the leadership. Now, the Bible says how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. So, you see, there's the rank, there's an order. You see, when we fall under that order, amen, we what I call, I believe, we personally experience, amen, the blessings of God. And guess what, amen, Paul, I just love this. Paul is not pointing people to himself. I'm going to say it again. Paul is not pointing people to himself. Paul is pointing people to Christ. Paul ain't pointing people to his ministry and saying, look at me. He's pointing people to Christ and he's letting them know, guess what? The, the, the work on the cross has, has been completed and in him you are complete and you don't need nothing else. Hallelujah. So I'm encouraging you this morning, watch this, that you have to set, watch this, your eyes, amen, on Jesus. Hallelujah. The author and the finisher of your faith. I'm going to say it again. Set your eyes on Jesus in this season. Amen. The author and the finisher of your faith. Uh, uh, and you know, there, there, there's, there's an interesting story that I, 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 I came across and it really um, um, brought this into perspective about your faith. Because you see, it's your faith that, that, that establishes you. Because the Bible says, like I said, it's impossible uh, uh, um, to please God without uh, um, faith. And the Bible says, fight the good fight of faith. For faith is resting in the assurance, amen, of God's uh, amen, ability that is able, amen, to keep you, is able, amen, to lead you, is able to, amen, bring you out, is able to heal you, is able to deliver you, you're trusting God, amen, because, amen, he is everything, amen, that you need. Well, this story talks about a, a, a particular man um, that was a, 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 a tightrope walker. It was in the 18th, uh, um, uh, 1850s. Um, he was a, a well-known Charles um, Blodin. Uh, and Charles Blodin, um, his name was, he was a famous um, 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 tightrope walker, you know, that he walked on the Niagara Falls. Watch this. He walked on the Niagara Falls, it was said, and um, he walked on the Niagara Falls and the thing was, he walked blindfolded. And they said also that he also carried a wheelbarrow as well, walking across the Niagara Falls. And also they said that he stopped, amen, and even had a, a, a snack on the way. Uh, 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 and there was something so uh, unique about this. So um, the press um, 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 got a hold of him and... Um, 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 Charles um, turned around and said to the press writer, um, um, do you think that um, um, I can, um, you know, carry somebody on my shoulders across the Niagara Falls? And, um, and, and the uh, reporter turned around and said, yes, I actually do believe um, that you can actually do that. And so the report, uh, uh, um, Charles turns around and says, well, come on, let, let, let's go. <laughs> let's go and, and and when he said that the reporter turned around and says you know no I, I, I'm not but you've got to remember before he says no he says yeah I actually personally believe that you know that you can actually uh, uh, um, um, and do this you see what was really actually taken there that you see the, 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 the reporter's faith was a, a theoretical uh, a theoretical uh, um, um, faith uh, 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 he was not prepared watch this uh, um, to put his life 
uh, uh, on the line. And you see, so when you begin to trust, watch this, when you begin to uh, uh, um, trust Jesus Christ, what you're doing, you're putting your life on the line and you're saying, Lord, I've got faith in you, Jesus. Watch this to carry me through. Watch this. So no matter what you go through, no matter what anybody tries to say to you, you're saying, guess what? I will allow you to carry me. Amen. Hallelujah. I will allow you to, to walk. Amen. With me on, 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 on the tightrope of, of life. Jesus, I trust you that you will carry me and you will bring, amen, me through. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So we've got to look at it. So here's this story. And this story is such a powerful story in the sense that it's kind of saying that um, it's showing, like I said, that the reporter, uh, uh, his faith wasn't really uh, uh, that strong. He was saying, yeah, I believe you can do that. But when it came to uh, um, to the very uh, um, crunch time, he was not willing to go. You know, so so how, what do we do? How do we, you know, how do we receive uh, uh, faith? How, how do we live, uh, amen, by faith? You know, uh, it's the same kind of thing. You see, when we um, um, accepted Jesus Christ um, and Jesus came into our life, we didn't see him physically come into our lives, did we? You know, we just heard the word and we trusted the word and we realized, amen, that through him that we could have eternal life, through him that our, uh, our sins would be forgiven, through him we could be healed. And guess what? You know, from the moment we accepted Jesus, Jesus Christ as our personal savior, we can actually testify because we experienced, we felt, we knew the actual change, a change had actually taken uh, uh, um, place. Hallelujah. You know, when you know that you were bound by sin, I, I know what it was like to be bound by sin. And when I accepted Jesus Christ, you know, that weight, amen, was taken off me. You know what? Because I believed by faith. I believed, amen, that my sins were forgiven. I believe that the peace of God, that pass of all understanding is my portion. I believed by faith. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. So we receive, watch this, by faith. We receive salvation by faith. Hallelujah. We believe the word of God. We believe that Jesus died on the cross Amen. So that me and you could have, amen, eternal life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we've got to know that we've got to be able to put our trust, watch this, in God. Now, the reason I gave that story about Charles, the tightrope walker, was because many of us start our life believing by faith and we trust God and then you know we start off by faith but then you know a lot of us end up watch this finishing it by works you know thinking that we can be justified that we can uh, 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 um, you know that we can gain salvation by works and and it's simply by faith by trusting God uh, um, and and there, there, there's another part to this this story about what Charles uh, um, Bowden. Um, 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 I, I want to just put it this way to you. Uh, um, you know, if Charles Bowden right was to turn around and say to you and me, "Come on, um, do you think I can carry you across the Niagara Falls on a tightrope?" and you would, and 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 he, and you said, "Yeah, come on, let's go." And then all of a sudden, when you're halfway down, watch this, um, you look around and you say to Charles, you know what, you can stop here now because, you know what, I, I, I think I can make the journey now on my own. I, I don't need you. Now, if you were a person that said that, I would have to say that you are crazy because you don't know how to type, to walk a tight rope. You don't know how to walk on it. So that's what many of us do with our Christian faith. We start along the way and then all of a sudden, you know, this life of faith that we've had and we've, you know, what we've experienced in Christ Jesus, all of a sudden we start to do it um, our own way. 
And the Bible doesn't uh, uh, encourage us and said that it says said, and it said the just shall live by by faith, not by your strength, not by your own ability, but by faith. That would be crazy. And that's what some of us do. Well, you know, partway through our walking in, in, in this journey of faith, you know, we, we think we can do it, you know, with our own strength. And then, you know, we become, uh, we begin to look outside of the, uh, of, of the camp. We look at other remedies, easier remedies or somebody's philosophy. You've got to understand that's what the enemy wants to do. He doesn't want you to walk by faith because you see, there's a joy, there's, 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 there's a level, watch this, you get God's expectation, uh, and you get God's attention, I should say, when you begin to live by faith. So the enemy wants to push you out of faith faith and they will normally what happens here he will normally bring what we call um things to begin to question your faith or had um things that is not inside christ but paul has encouraged us that we are complete in christ we cannot rely upon our own strength that we've got to keep amen We've got to keep our eyes focused on Jesus. We've got to, in this season that we're going through, uh, uh, the word of the Lord is to me and you, is to keep the faith. You know, clearly uh, uh, um, uh, over the last few days, I heard the Lord say to me to tell my people to keep the faith. Because people's faith have been rocked. People's faith, amen, has been challenged. And, and what's been challenging people, are the, uh, the media is great. You know, and once it's used uh, to promote things that are beneficial to people. But all at the same time, it brings a lot of deception. It causes people to begin to take their eyes off Jesus and begin to look at the philosophy of men. And here Paul is saying, be watchful, be careful, be careful. And that's why the Bible turned around and said, the word of the Lord should dwell richly inside you. And at this moment in time, this is where I'm encouraging you as believers. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. This is something that I am personally doing. Amen. I'm going through the word of the Lord. Amen. I'm, I'm looking at every, amen, every dot. Amen. I'm just reading the word of the Lord and allowing the word of God to dwell richly inside me. I am building my faith. Faith based upon the word of God, amen, and not on somebody's opinion. And that's not saying that we don't need people to teach us the word of the Lord. That's not saying that there are great preachers and great teachers out there. But what I'm trying to tell you, amen, you've got to be mindful, amen, from the moment people are trying to say, amen, there's this other thing outside of Christ. Be watchful. Be mindful that you don't fall into deception. I have seen, amen, people that have been walking with the Lord for a long time, amen, and all of a sudden a, a new wave, a new sound uh, uh, comes uh, across their mind or, or something, somebody brings some kind of insight and all of a sudden they want to kind of almost throw away what uh, they uh, believe. That's why you've got to be rooted and grounded in the word of God, hallelujah. And if God saves you the same Jesus that rescued your life the same Jesus that you put your trust in to carry you amen amen over the tight rope of life amen is the same Jesus that will bring you to the end hallelujah amen and where you'll be able to hear well done thy good and faithful servant is the same Jesus everything you need is in him hallelujah I'm going to say this again is the author and the finisher of your faith. I'm going to say it again. Jesus Christ is the author and the finisher of your faith. Do not allow your wisdom to stand in the wisdom of men, but stand in the ability, amen, of God. Hallelujah. So you know something? There's this story in the Bible that we, we, uh, 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 we know uh, and, 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 and here Paul is even telling us to, we should walk by sight, but we should walk by faith. Walk by faith and not sight. So what's happening now? 
what we are seeing now, 2021, what we're seeing and what we're hearing, it seems like it's come to knock our faith. And we now begin to look and see what's going on. And that doesn't mean that we don't apply to the rules of, 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 the, of, of the law, because we do. But when it comes to our personal beliefs, amen, that upholds me and keeps me in right fellowship with God, hallelujah. I have to live the life of faith, hallelujah. And guess what? We can. Now, now we know that in the Bible, you know, there's a great story. And, you know, I'm going to conclude with this. But like I said, you know, during this month, I'm going to talk about faith because I want to strengthen your faith. Hallelujah. We know the story in the Bible that, you know, that, um, you know, um, the disciples there in the boat and they see Jesus. They didn't realize it was Jesus. They saw this person walking on the water and they thought it was a ghost a spirit and you know after they recognized him they said if it is you Jesus Jesus bid me to come now we see that you know uh, 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 um, Peter now steps out of the boat and he begins to walk watch this while the storm was going on while the wind was blowing while the sea was raging, because he had his focus on Jesus, he came based upon the word of Christ, come. But all of a sudden, you know, all of a sudden, uh, 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 um, Peter takes his eyesight off Christ. And then he begins to look at the waves. He, he begins to see the wind. He, he, he feels the wind. He, he sees the waves and, uh, 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 and, and, and uh, moving. Or I should say, he sees the, the, the sea waves uh, uh, and just, just having its display of violence. And he takes his eyes off Jesus and then he begins to sink. And as he's sinking, Jesus reaches out his hand and, and, and lifts him up. Well, I'm going to let you know, watch this. The moment you take your eyes off Jesus and you begin to look at the circumstances and what's going off around us, doesn't mean that we ignore them. That's not what I'm saying. But guess what? We don't give that Amen. Supreme rulership over our life. We look at the supremeness of Jesus Christ and what he has done for me and you. So that keep you in perfect peace. He is our deliverer. He is our hope. So, so, so Jesus turns around and says to Peter, you know, you of little faith, you doubted. You see, your doubt, watch this. You see, doubt is the enemy to faith. And so that's why in this season, you can't allow doubt to rule your mind. And you can't be like Peter. You can't walk by uh, um, sight, but you've got to walk by faith. And it, the thing was, Peter started out, amen, in faith. Because guess what? He walked on the water. That he, he walked into the condition. Hallelujah. Amen. We might be going through a condition right now. Hallelujah. Amen. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil for thou art with me. Amen. We are going through something. Guess what? But we can keep our focus on Jesus. We can keep our faith alive in the ability of our God, that he'll be able to calm the storms. And so I'm, I want to declare this morning, don't allow, watch this, don't allow your faith to be moved. Don't allow false teaching, amen, amen, to come, amen, your way and talk you out of, amen, your liberty in Christ. That everything that you need is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you to be, amen, strong in the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And in the power of his mind. You see, because me and you are called to walk by faith, trusting God in this season. 
Hallelujah. I'm going to say it again. Trust in God in this season. There I personally believe in this season. Watch this. Hallelujah. That God, amen, is placing a demand, amen, on his people. Hallelujah. To believe his word. Hallelujah. To believe his word. God, amen, is looking for the church of the living God to believe, amen, his word and to stand, amen, in the assurance, amen, that God is with us. So what am I trying to say in conclusion this, 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 this morning? Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Do not allow, watch this, false teaching. Signs and wonders. You know, just before closing, I just want to say, you know, um, you know, I said to God the other day in a time of prayer, you know, um, you know, we want the power of God. But why do people want the power of God? If it's to make you look better than your brother or your sister, you don't you don't you, you you're not a candidate for the power of God. It's only when watch this, when Christ becomes watch this, the focus of our faith. And I personally believe that that's what G God is doing in this season is bringing back the body of Christ. Watch this to the focus of Amen the, uh, uh, of, of who our King is, and it's Jesus. Hallelujah! Because everything is inside Him. Everything we need is in Him. So this morning, I pray and believe that you will not walk by sight but you will walk by faith. Faith in the God that is able to do the exceedingly and the abundantly. The one that can keep you through the storms. The one that has already paid the price and said it is finished. And you need to know that you are complete in Christ. So take strength. My brother, my sister, take courage that in this season, just keep the faith. Well, we want to thank you this morning for tuning in. And I pray that this word will encourage you. Like I said, through the month of January, I'm going to talk about faith. Because faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. But we can obtain, watch this, a good report by our faith in Christ. So I want to encourage you to be strengthened. And for those that um, have joined us for the first time, we'd like you to connect with us. Our information is going to come up on the screen. We'd just love you to connect. And also at this moment, Sam, I want to encourage ANFC. You know we started a fast on um um, January the 3rd for 21 days, a Daniel fast. And um, if you're not part of it, you can still be part of it. The information is on our, our website. You can um, email us and we'll send you the details. We'd love you to fast with us, amen, as we're believing God and preparing, amen, for what God has for us, amen, in the days, amen, to come. Hallelujah. Well, at this moment and time, I just want to give God thanks and honor and glory because he is faithful. And also at this moment and time, I also want to invite you to donate to the ministry so that we can do the things that God has called us to do. I encourage you ANFC um, uh, members to keep on, amen, giving your offerings and your tithe. We thank God for your faithfulness you know so at this moment in time you know just before you know um the the information comes up on how you can donate to the ministry i would just like this opportunity just to pray for you amen and your family hallelujah father we just want to thank you we honor and we praise you we give you glory and we give you honor father i just want to thank you for ANFC members, I want to thank you, Lord, for the body of Christ at large and for those that are listening. I pray, Heavenly Father, Lord, that you'll bless them. I pray, Heavenly Father, that they'll experience your grace and your mercy. 
I pray, Heavenly Father, that strength will come. I pray, Heavenly Father, for those that need healing in the body. I pray, Heavenly Father, by your spirit that you'll touch their lives and their lives will be transformed. I pray, Heavenly Father, the peace of God that passeth all understanding will be, be upon every single household. Lord, we ask for your blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, the information on how you can donate is going to come up on the screen. I want to just tell you thanks and see you again next week. God bless you in Jesus' name. You can donate to ANFC Church in your local currency quickly and securely by using our app, our website or direct bank transfer. You can download our app by searching ANFC Church in the app or Google Play Store. Once in the app, click on donations and then online giving to enable you to make donations to the ministry following the simple instructions on your device. You can also make quick and secure donations through our website by visiting www.anfc.org.uk forward slash donate. All you have to do is select the transaction partner you would like to use, Tithely or PayPal, and then follow the instructions on screen to complete your transaction. Want to set up a recurring gift? You can do this and set the frequency during the process of your transaction. Want to pay by bank transfer or set up a standing order? You can also find these details on our website to set up your transaction. Sort code 601517 Account number 85101451 Thank you for your generosity and God bless you.